For six years, I've really enjoyed being a chef in London, but for me, there's nothing better than returning home to Madrid. Every time I come back and I get into the door, I, I feel something quite special. And it is it's a great moment, quite a emotional. Yeah. Every time I get home, first thing I do is go into the kitchen and open the fridge. I look for food. That's, it's just like a, like a magnet. En esta cocina es donde me has enseñado todos los trucos sí. sobre la cocina tradicional. ¿Recuerdas la única regla que me enseñaste y que me impusiste en esta cocina? Claro que me acuerdo, me acuerdo perfectamente que tenías que dejar impoluta la cocina después de usarla. La cocina era la regla única que te dije. ¿Y qué tal me porté? Bueno, al principio un poco así, pero luego muy bien. Ah, bueno. Toma. Gracias. I've always wanted to be a chef. My toys were about cooking. Everything I read had something to do with food. And my parents still keep my old recipe books in my room. This was my first ever cooking book. It's actually called my first cooking book. It has a lot of basic recipes. I was just six years old when I was given this book and I've cooked it all the way through and it was very important for me. I still remember the first time she started to do the cookies. We always used to say, uh, oh, so nice, so fine, they're so tasty and this for him to be happy and not to upset him, mostly. I always remember that they were really terrible. This is our family legacy in the gastronomy. It has recipes from my great-grandmother, to my grandmother, to my mom, to my auntie, and I've even written recipes myself. Recipes that has been tested with the times, and it brings great memories. My diploma, and uh, Jamie Oliver books here, and videos. I have this video in VHS, quite important for me because when I saw it, my auntie brought it from London, I was probably 16 years old, and when I saw it, he was so young, I thought, I want to be like that guy. But most of my inspiration comes from the heart of my home city. Madrid is such an amazing town. It's just beautiful, it's very old, very historical, and um, architecture, colors, vibrancy, the streets, the roofs, I mean, I think you cannot get much better than this. Along with the vibrant colors and architecture, the food in Madrid is fabulous. And one style of cooking has risen above the rest. A style that's been perfected over hundreds of years. Madrid is the capital of tapas. We are in Paseo de la Castellana. This is the fastest truck to the best tapas bars in town. There is so many thousands of tapas bars in every street that you can miss them and you cannot stop stopping and biting in one and another. This area here is where you can find some of the oldest and most famous tapas bars in Madrid. We are actually in Calle de Cuchilleros, which means the knife makers street, and it's been associated with food for centuries. Tapas are all over the world these days, and Cava Baja is the heart, was the beginning of the story. But this building over here means a lot to me, because my grandmother and my great-grandmother used to live here. And now, on the ground floor, there is a tapas bar, and I kind of like that. Cava Baja is brimming with tapas bars to explore. Hi Pablo, how are you doing? But I've decided to invite all my friends and family to a tapas feast of my own. I'm organizing a get together tonight. And that means it's time to hit the market. 
the best fish, the best meat, the best vegetables, everything comes to Madrid. Just to order the most amazing race of plants. Look at these tomatoes, they are so fresh and the aroma is incredible. This cured sausage will go perfectly with the tapas. I used to go to my auntie's place for the most amazing meals when I was young. So tonight, I will be cooking this feast at her house in the north of Madrid. My auntie was the best chef, the best cook uh, in the family. She always bring food and bring home, and every opportunity that I had uh, to go to her house and cook, I was always there. <laughs> She still has a chicken hut where uh, we get the fresh eggs from the hens. So I don't think you can get any closer and any better than that. When everyone gets together, it's fantastic. My grandmother. <laughs> Once the snacks are sorted, it's time to get on with the tapas. Broken eggs is a typical dish from Madrid. Onion and garlic are fried up and mixed with slices of potato and black pudding. To finish off, I'm using my young eggs, fresh from the cook. Brilliant, this is ready. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and caught in salsa verde is one of my mom's favorite dishes, so I hope she likes it. She like it. It's missing a bit of salt, she says, but she like it. Damn it! <laughs> a tapas fiesta is all about chatting, drinking and eating for hours. As the sun sets, my final dish, black rice, is delivered. And it's time for me to relax. Lots of drinks, good food, and all together that is the most important thing for me. 